What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here and on today's video I'm going to show you our new fish room. We are right now in our new house. If you haven't watched my last video, I announced that we one, got a bunny rabbit and two, bought a house. Which now we are moved into. You're taking a nice look at our new bar in our man cave area over here. This is an finished basement that looks like it was done in about 1960. We're gonna go ahead and update this part of the basement, but where the magic happens or where the fish happens is gonna be right through that room. Before I go ahead and show you my new fish room, if you are new to my channel, be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel uh, and also subscribe if you like what you see. Follow me on Instagram right here. So the house upstairs is much more updated than it is down here. It's all kind of brand new and everything. Uh, but I'm not gonna show you that just yet. This is Long Island Fish Guy, not Long Island Property Brothers. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's through this door. And here is the fish tanks. Look at this brand new bike. <laughs> There are the fish tanks. There's one fish tank right there and there are two over there. Here is a complete look at everything. Obviously this is an unfinished part area. You can see our boiler, our washer, dryer over there. Uh, but the tanks are kind of thrown here right now. Nothing is permanently in any location. I can assure you there's going to be a lot being done in this area. We're gonna be putting up some walls here. We're gonna maybe run some things for plumbing. We're gonna run some new electrical outlets so we can make sure we have tons of space for plenty of aquariums. And I can assure you we're not gonna be staring at any sort of boilers or, or even washing machines or anything like that. Everything's gonna be super clean, super crisp. And Long Island Fish Guy approved. So the tanks we have in here right now are the tanks that we only had inside the apartment. Here is the 29 gallon tank that houses my uh, sp spotted Congo puffer over there. It has a Marlamo catfish. It has a couple of geophagus in here. This is my 15 gallon aquarium, houses my freshwater moray eel. Uh, it's a tiger eel, it has tons of corridor catfish, a couple of small cichlids. And right here we have my 36 gallon boat front which is currently sitting on a workbench and the canister filter has a very ghetto setup. This is the Penplex Marlin Cascade. It's an incredible filter. I really genuinely love the stocking in this aquarium as well. We have a NTT datnoid. That is not an Indonesian datnoid. That is like a three bar datnoid that you don't find in your normal, look at him, he loves this camera right now. He's following me around. Look at him. He's following the camera around. I've never seen him do this before. Look at him. Wow. It has a uh, Florida spotted gar. It has a couple Kelberry peacock bass and where is he? It has the, 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 the red, the red wolf fish in, is in here. Uh, if you watched one of my last videos about the red wolf fish, I said that he really shouldn't be with tank mates and uh, I tested it out and it's working. He's uh, been with these fish now for, I don't know, a month, I would say. And uh, there's no real issues inside this aquarium. Everyone's kind of getting along. These fish will not be in here permanently. Uh, these fish, as I bring the tanks over from my parents' house, uh, there's still my 125 gallon fish tank there, 75, a little five gallon with a red-eyed puffer fish, and a quarantine tank there. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I did post a video up on Instagram. I have not been to my parents' house in two and a half months. I went there and found this. That's crazy. You can't even see inside this tank. I know that. That's so crazy. And this tank is just like, I can't believe how much water is in. I can't see any noise. I know, that's just so crazy. The water level there was so low because I haven't been doing any water changes there due to what's going on in today's world with social distancing and everything. I did not want to put my parents at risk. I do wish everyone is safe and healthy and everyone's family members are all healthy as well. I did do a water change on that aquarium, uh, of, on all my aquariums there, and I only had two fish deaths, one of which was one of my big datnoids I've got uh, that from, was from Monster Aquarium in Queens. It was my favorite datnoid and I loved it, but 
that noise are pretty sensitive fish and if they don't get regular water changes they don't typically do well so two and a half months you know, it didn't really make it. There is a smaller datanoid that did make it there, though. Also, I did lose a small German ram that was probably about the size of my thumb uh, that was in quarantine. Those tanks will be coming over here within a certain amount of time, but I am going to go pretty slow because I do need to get friends uh, to help me out here, or at least some family members to help me out move these big aquariums. Due to everything going on, and like I said, with the exposure to my parents, obviously I don't want to just have any person just come into my house and just kind of move around some tanks. I want to make sure that they've been safe. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what am I going to do down here? Am I just going to do what I usually did at my parents' house in my own house? Am I going to have a small little fish tank space in this house compared to my apartment? Well, I'll tell you this much. We're going to actually be getting rid of some aquariums. But we're actually going to also going to be upgrading those aquariums. I'm going to be my goal for this fish room is to have less, had to have more with less. I'm planning on having a bigger aquarium than I've ever had before. I also plan on making less aquariums, maybe even smaller aquariums too. Uh, so my ultimate goal for this is to have one or two big tanks with a few small tanks. What I can assure you is that this fish room is going to look so different. I don't mean to compare my channel to every and any other channel here, but I'm almost getting the vibes of Joey DIY when he did his fish room gallery uh, and kind of saw the makings of everything. As I actually do updates up here, maybe build some studs, put some sheetrock up, obviously gonna be doing some updates for you guys, but I need a lot of work here. Which leads me to my next point of saying, I do apologize for not uploading videos as regularly as I used to. Obviously with buying a new house, getting married in November, there's been a lot going on in my life. And you know, I haven't really been uploading as regularly as I want to or should. Uh, so I do hope to you know actually get the ball rolling again getting back on track and uploading a ton of YouTube content for you guys But if you did like this video be sure to subscribe check out some of the other content here on my channel Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed most importantly don't forget to fish on